This is Twit. A few interesting things of note. Tony Rome at the Washington Post had a scoop earlier this week that the FTC was going to issue a $5 billion fine to Facebook for privacy violations that were related to the Cambridge Analytica uh, kerfuffle. It's two times today that I've been able to say that word uh, from last year. And the FTC molds stronger penalties, ultimately deciding to go with $5 billion as the fine. Officially today, the FTC announced this. Uh, the largest fine in U.S. history for privacy violations, uh, although many people are, are thinking it didn't go far enough. Well, how much did their stock go up that day? Well, that's a good question. So this was a couple six, of... A couple six, of, in fact. Six billion, their stock went up. <laughs> a couple of days ago when it was when it was rumored to be when happening. it was rumored to be happening, And then yes. what is the change today the now, cha that the FTC, now that the that's FTC has officially announced it? Um, let's see here. What's their... What's their it's, it's still going up. I mean, yeah, it's um, up 1.4% today. So, yeah. I mean, Facebook's doing all right. Yep. <laughs> Not too shabby. Um, I mean, there's there's other components of this. Uh, it grants federal regulators 20 years of access to Facebook's business decisions. Facebook basically has to create a, uh, some sort of an independent committee in its board of directors to monitor and oversee privacy and then report quarterly to FTC on compliance for the next 20 years. Uh Facebook was not required to admit guilt. Facebook is absolved of anything prior to like 2018. Um, so, I mean, many people just kind of have are arguing that $5 billion is a bargain for the fact that Facebook got away with so much and doesn't have to change any of their ad practices going forward. What do you guys think? Hmm. This is... Hmm. A, it, the the uh, orders that came through with this are pretty lame. I mean, they're like, hey, Facebook, encrypt user passwords and scan to detect if any of those user passwords are in plain text. Like, everyone should be doing this. Yeah. And don't use or don't grab email passwords from other services. That's not the issue. The issue is things like tracking pixels and back, not backhanded, um, agreements between companies to share data that consumers may not be aware of. Right. Um, Facebook is prohibited from using telephone numbers obtained to enable a security feature for advertising, which is like the bare minimum. I don't know if you guys all remember, but they had done this thing where they were like, hey, give us your phone number for two-factor. And then suddenly people were right. like, hey, they seem to be using my phone number for other stuff. Um, they also said that they were going to take action against Cambridge Analytica take legal action against uh, the FTC announced they were going to take legal action against Cambridge Analytica. But overall, this is pretty lame. Oh, and there's a thing about facial recognition saying that uh, they are, Facebook must provide clear and conspicuous notice of all its use of facial recognition technology and obtain affirmative express user consent prior to any use that materially exceeds its prior disclosures. So basically, if it wants to do new stuff with your old photos, it has to get more consent from you on that. And going forward, it has to ask. But again, these are, Table these are pretty, pitch. yeah, these are basic. This is not new ground. Um, but the FTC feels uncomfortable going too far because there's no actual legal there's no congressional rules. And this is an area where we do actually need Congress to step up and come up with some sort of privacy regulations because the FTC, the FTC is right. It cannot go forward and like make new laws, right? It can mm -hmm. only regulate the existing laws on the books. And mm -hmm. Facebook could come back. It didn't in this case, but it could have come back and said, Hey, you know what? We don't agree with you FTC. And then this could have went into court and even the basic recommendations that Facebook had agreed to might have been lost. Yeah, I, I, I kind of in agreement. I mean, everybody, you can debate if five billion is enough or not enough, et cetera. That to me, that's not the issue. Um, it's what are they? What does the company have to do going forward? Right. Not too much different. I mean, yeah, there'd be a little more oversight and so on, but and it's. I think it's a missed opportunity. Um, and well, I wonder. But 
Mm -hmm. Again, I would say it's a wake up call to say, hey, Mm -hmm. we don't have our regulatory agencies don't have the tools they need to actually go after these problems that we're seeing with the 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 world that we have in front of us with technology. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree. It's it's a shame. I mean, it's not like Facebook is a new company or any of these social networks are like brand new. I mean, heck, uh, not that they're involved with this, but I think I joined Twitter in 2006, so 13 years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, that's when you started having all this social networking really taking off. And if you didn't see this coming, it's like, come on, guys, what are you doing? Um, but one question I have, where's the $5 billion go? Because it was individual citizens whose privacy was was um you know abused basically and yet uh, we're not getting the money are we (laughs) no no absolutely not 